I actually use Windows Photos app almost every single day to edit the photos. It actually has some really good tools to edit your photos, especially in Windows 11. If you're on Windows 10, maybe you won't have these features, but in Windows 11, yeah, we got some really useful features. So, I mean, I'm not gonna stretch this too much, okay? Most <laughs> of the time I use Windows Photos app to remove the background from images and it is actually really good okay once you open the photo in photos app you can go and click on edit option and after that uh, you'll see many options to edit your images you can do adjustment like brightness and everything like you can adjust your color which is also really good if you need to do some color adjustment in your photos then yeah you can do that too we have filters we have markups arrays this is one of the best feature in my opinion with this you can remove objects from your images and this is actually really good yeah look at that okay <laughs> i want to get rid of his tool i don't know what is the name of this tool okay let me select that one too and boom look at that it did it really well and just imagine you took some photo but there are some objects that you don't want in your pictures yeah i mean this thing works so well look at that it is actually really good okay and after that we have background remove option we can remove the background completely just like that or we can also do a replacement with colors okay we can choose the different color and all that do we not have option to uh choose the different background or oh, we don't maybe we'll have to use some other application to add custom background but yeah we can remove the background that is really good we can also blur the background this is not the best picture for a blurring the background because there is nothing in the background but you can see there is a slight blur these features are just insane background and erase this is something that you only get on professional level photo editing uh, applications like the photoshop for example or uh, now these days even on phones have this feature gen generative erase feature uh, using this you can you know remove the unwanted objects from your images paint app also got some uh useful ai features actually okay let me let me show you actually uh, i don't think it has the erase the generative erase option i think it only has for now background removal so we can do a background remove just like that easy and we can actually have multiple layers now. I mean, they have similar functionalities now. If you want more powerful, uh, like photo editor with layers and whatnot, yeah, you can actually combine both of these image editors to create something new or to edit your images. I mean, for real, these two features are just insane let me give you guys a real life example let's say you took this photo for example and you don't like the people in water you can take them out anything that is distracting in your image and you don't want that boom you're done okay and uh, yeah you can do the same thing with this guy here it's not a guy it's a boat i don't know if it's gonna get rid of the leg <laughs> i think it will can i do the undo Oh yeah, it did. So that was a bad idea. I mean, it's it's pretty good in my opinion. I genuinely use Windows Photos app for real almost every single day. Yeah, it's actually really good and useful. And that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.